Stephen A., your Knicks tip off the regular season tonight. We hit. I know. We hit. You're going to be in the garden <laughs> for the game. Yeah. Knicks got bounced out of the first yeah. round. Yeah. I think it was by Trey Young and the yes, Hawks, if I remember, yes, from last season. Yes. <laughs> I love your face right yeah. now. Yeah. I wish I could take a yeah. picture of yeah. it. Oh, will they make it out of the first round this year? Because the last time that happened, I think, was like 2012. We, we, we and before hit. that, we I hit. don't even remember. We hit. We hit. I'm that, going with that. That wasn't I'm an going answer. I, I, I want listen, yes or listen, no listen, to that listen. question. Yes. Yes. Now, let me say this. In all seriousness, you got to understand, when you've suffered as much as us Knicks fans have suffered, you crawl before you walk, baby. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I mean, damn, it was so bad. Yeah. It was just a relief. I mean, them making the playoffs felt like a championship. Uh, the first fair. round felt like a championship round for us. That's all that was. But anybody that knows basketball knew Atlanta was the better team. They, they just are, okay? There's no doubt about that. Here's what I would tell you to watch out for the New York Knicks. And this is why I believe in them. Okay. They're going to take the regular season more seriously than most teams would. You know, Tom Thibodeau, that's just how he rolls. Yep. And so as a result, you're going to sneak up on a couple of teams that might, in, in preparation for the playoffs, not, might not prioritize the regular season, Tim, as much as you would like. Yeah. I think that's going to help them. And my eyes are on not Kimball Walker, not Fournier, because they're clearly an upgrade with what the Knicks have with Bullock and those boards. Mm -hmm. So go with Derrick Rose, who you retain, mm -hmm. and, and the others. And R.J. Barrett has gotten better, too, even though him and Julius Randle need to learn to use their right hand. Mitchell Robinson is the key for me. Okay. He's a rim protector, a shot blocker, and a rebounder. Legit 7-1, 270, 280. Brother can run. He can jump. He blocks shots. He's defensive-minded. I think that elevates the New York Knicks defensively exponentially. And I think as a result, could I find him if you ended up being a fifth seed? Could you beat a fourth seed? Yes, you could. And that's why I say... New York Knicks got a chance to get out of the first round, and I'm going to err on the side of optimism. I'm going to tell you oh, that the New York the Knicks. New I'm going to tell you that the New York Knicks are going to advance to the semifinals of the Eastern Conference this yeah. year. That's what I'm going with right now, okay. Tim. Well, That's listen, what I'm going with. Listen, listen. Mm. This is this is how far they've come. If we went back two years ago and we said, mm -hmm. sitting here in mid-October mm -hmm. of 2021, mm -hmm. that the New York Knicks would be better than the Boston Celtics. If you had told me that two years ago. No way. With those two young forwards That's in right. Boston, right? And as and much Brown. as I believed in Brassett, mm -hmm. never would have believed it. Right. I actually think they are going to be. Unless Ime Udoka has a great grasp right. in year one, right? Which is a chance. It is. He's got good pedigree. And he puts wrinkles in their offense right. that because that got stale with Brad Stevens, and now you got fresh view, fresh eye, uh, eyesight on this, and you get something more out of him. I think the Knicks are going to be better. But I would do, I'd love Mitchell Robinson. I'll disagree with you on this. Mm -hmm. The key is Kemba Walker, man. It's Kemba. And what happened in Boston wasn't just health. That played a part. It was also I could see a guy that just kept looking around going, when can I be Kemba? Because the guy in Charlotte was different than the guy we saw in Boston because the offense was built around these two forwards. So Kemba spent a lot of the night trying to figure out when can I go be the guy that I was in you Charlotte. You don't have to worry about that now. That's what I'm saying. And he's going to be electrified. He's home. He wanted to be in the garden. He brings that bounce and energy naturally. And I think Kemba Walker is going to have a huge year, and he's going to solidify that team having a guy you can go to to get things done late. Because Julius Randle, great as his season was, did struggle with that well, in the series he against He did, Atlanta. but here's the deal. You had Derrick Rose there, who I think can still do some things if he's not exhausted. Yeah. He had no help at True. the point guard spot. You got that now in Kemba. You got a guy in Fournier who can move without the basketball or move with the basketball of a dribble drive penetration and got a pull-up jump shot. He has that capability, all right? So those two components are something that can't be ignored. The key to me is Julius Randle can't be out there. I'm not talking about not shooting the three because he can shoot it. He did it at a 40% clip last year. Respect what I'm seeing from him. But it can't be holding the ball yeah. for seconds at a time and trying to be a one-on-one -on -one dude. Take, be a man like you are. Take them brothers in the post or catch and shoot. Outside of that, leave all the ball handling stuff to the Derrick Rose, the Kemba Walkers of the world, and do it like that. And both him and R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle and R.J. Barrett, got to learn how to use their right hand. Got to be ambidextrous. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.